Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com. It's been a little while, so it might be rusty, so bear with me. Today we're going to take a look at torrents and using torrents because I've gotten some emails over time, one or two telling me, hey, could you explain to me how this works? And quite a few from people who email me and say, you have torrent links on your site. That's evil. It's illegal. It's wrong. It's not. Torrent files are legal. There's plenty of stuff out there. As a matter of fact, there's a whole world out there you probably don't even know about with legal torrents. Uh, basically, if you've downloaded legal games, legal movies, a uh, program like Steam, you've probably used torrents before built into a client. You didn't even know it was there. So let's take a quick look. My personal favorite program is uTorrent, which I like to use. I like to make sure my options a couple of basic things and probably the most important one you want to know don't start it with Windows there's no reason when with a torrent file I have to come back around to this now the way it works is it collects bits and pieces of information it's not a file it's just a small file that has that's kind of an oxymoron it's it's a small file that has bits and pieces of information in it to help you download the file that the name the directory stuff like that from other people as well as share with other people so basic netiquette means you want to take this program and download something you want to make sure you at least share back a fair amount so that the system works without people sharing the system fails by itself so as you can see you can depending on your program of course you can monitor all your different connections bandwidth directories you're going to save it in etc transfer caps which is sometimes a good idea um, there's some information out there that some internet providers within three hours of you using a torrent program for some of these sites you get yourself in trouble, they know you're doing it. Um, let's get the elephant in the room out of the way. Pirate Bay, probably the most well-known site out there. They do offer free downloads that are actually legal, for example, independent music you know, bands and stuff like that, indies. But they're also well-known for probably you know, illegal movies, games, and they are well-known. Pretty much a household name. They also do a lot with politics as you can see, they've already got their little video here for politics, but let's move on and try and just explain to you where you're going here. BitTorrent, for example, here's a free ebook. You go back here at BitTorrent.com, go to the front page, Epic Mealtime. Sadly, I already did this video, download this as an example, and the guy was dropping an F-bomb every three seconds. <laughs> seconds. So I had to start the video all over again. BitTorrent is one of the clients you can use. Again, I use uTorrent. There's Views. There's BitComet. There's a lot of them out there. There's a reason for it. They're usable. But if you went through the BitTorrent site, you could actually go to the Get Started and see here they have legit torrent sites. And to be honest with you, you may not have heard of too many of these. You can also search for legal torrents. So in my case... Well, watch out for all the different downloads, start download, download, download. A lot of these sites are all laid out this way. You're looking for download this torrent. Now, this one only has four seeds. This is going to be a real problem. The more seeds you have, the faster it downloads. That means seeds means people. So trying to download this, you can see it pops up. It's going to download this delicious orange recipes free book. It's only 320K. Sadly, maybe we'll get lucky. It'll be faster than I thought. It depends on who's seeding. Uh, in the meantime, as you can see in the background, this is the movie I told you I downloaded on my failed video attempt. As you can see, well, let me move this over so you can see. It's still uploading right here, 7.2K. This is why you want to leave it out of your startup. You, I, I like to leave it running to share back, but if you leave it running on your computer 24 hours or 7 days a week, you're probably going to get a knock on your door at some point that you're probably not going to want. So there you go go so i'll let this run for an hour and then i'll actually delete this and stop seeding it just so that i'm doing the right thing um so it's going to assemble all these bits and pieces and it's going to put them all together and it's going to put it on your hard drive as one single file and then it's going to continue to share little bits and pieces of that file with other people who are doing the exact same thing hopefully that makes sense to you this actually came down pretty fast for such a limited number of seeds but as you see, it'll slow down towards the end as it puts the last couple pieces together and then assembles it on your hard drive for you. And there you go. Now we're seeding that. So let's get this out of the way real quick. And we'll show you. Ta-da. There is my delicious orange recipes. And since I actually live in Florida now, I might actually have to take a look at it. So, yeah, we know. So here you go. There is a legit little ebook. 
do, 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 do. and simply installed. That's a free, legitimate torrent download. So those who are worried about it now know that it can be legit. Eh, I want to do this, and I want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do this. No, no, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Let's finish. It's the problem with running these videos live and you don't ever play around with them before you do it. So, uh, no, I don't want to do that. So, I don't even know if this one installed at this point. But basically, yep, it did. So, you, you get the general idea. There's a lot of stuff out there that you can do. I don't know where the book is, if I can even find it right now. And for the sake of keeping the um, video short, I probably won't dig around too hard for it, but it's going to be in here somewhere. Any hoo ha. There you go. So, it's not all bad. It's not all evil. It's just a matter of how you use it or whether you use it at all. And I've told people before, I mean, listen, if you're not sure and you don't need it, then what are you worrying about? Don't bother with it. So there you go. It's not all bad. It is um, It's a great way to download big files. MechWarrior 2, or no, MechWarrior Online came out recently. It was a gig. I was able to download it really, really fast where the company who's distributing the file doesn't have the bandwidth it would be really really slow it just go makes takes something that's real big and hard to download and makes it really really easy and as i said it opens up kind of a whole different world for you of different things that you can download that you didn't even know are out there so hey i hope it was a help i hope it explains how torrent files work and we'll see you next time